Good morning, Commonwealth. Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. So it is a brand new day and we're over at uh, Boston Airport. And you're probably wondering why have I moved over to Boston Airport? Weren't we over outside of Jack Cabot's house? Well, we were. But then I couldn't film anymore yesterday because I was too tired. And so I decided to uh, come over here and... Um, do some stuff well next day basically so i wanted to do some stuff that i could do off screen basically and kind of go around and get some stuff sorted because we have some issues with our supply stuff and i also wanted to do some stuff that i could do off screen while i drank my coffee um so and ate my breakfast so that's what i've been doing i've been looking at some of my various settlements and what we have what we need etc and uh, i thought you know i never did set up boston airport and uh, turns out you can make seawater over here. You can actually have seawater production over here. So I thought this would be a great place to come over and uh, set that stuff up. Not sure if I have the materials. No, we're short on circuitry. So I need specifically some more production centers. I need to have some more tech factories and such. Stuff like that. So I thought, um, maybe for this whole episode, we could kind of build this place up. I'm not sure how high we can go here, but I think it's pretty high. And I think I can probably just go, like, really, really high in the production here. Just build a gigantic factory out of this place. It's a nice, flat, even rectangle. Like... You couldn't ask for more, you know? The only issue is that this uh, upper floor here is going to be uh, basically about um, one and a half high, which is awkward because, as far as I know, and I'll check here real quick, but I'm pretty sure there are no half-sized walls here. No, there are no half-sized walls, so that's kind of awkward. We're going to have to do something like... I guess we'll put in a wall that's going to be hmm, roughly below the height of this wall here. I'm going to attempt to repair these walls is what I'm going to, what I'm going to try to do. So I guess a little bit below this, even though it's not going to look the best when it's below it, we're going to try to go a little bit below this, and we want this to be lined up pixel perfect pretty much, which is always a massive pain in the ass to do, but we'll do our best, and we don't want to have it sticking out on the outside. If, it, if anything, I'd want to have it sticking out on the inside, I'd say. That would look more reasonable to me. So let's move this in a bit more. But yes, we're going to attempt to repair these walls with our own walls that are pixel perfect lined up here. I could do warehouse too, I suppose, but I think concrete looks better Maybe I will do warehouse, though. Hmm. Just because if we're making multiple floors and we're doing, like, a manufacturing center, it's going to be a lot of concrete to use, and I have a lot more steel than I do, um, you know, concrete. Wood would be the best, but I feel like... I, I, I don't know. I just... I don't like using barns for everything, you know? At least this way... Yeah, it probably is fine. So my, my thinking here is that if we're making industrial type stuff here, like parts factories, refineries, etc., we want enough room on each level that we can make those things, yeah? That makes pretty good sense. Although... Concrete would be a lot... would make a lot more sense in terms of being more sturdy. I could build them two walls high, I suppose. Maybe we'll just do that. I'm sorry, I'm I'm very indecisive today. This is going to be a settlement building episode, guys. If you don't like settlement building, just get the hell out of here. I mean, don't actually get out. Well, you know, yeah, just get the hell out of here because we're going to be doing a lot of settlement building today. So, just uh just peace out if that's not your that's not your thing. I understand. No judgment, man. I get it. But you sometimes you got to build some settlements, you know. Yeah, problem with this is that it's not really it's a weird wall. It's not really the proper thickness of a wall. 
Pretty sure I am outside of the settlement thing here, and it's going to kick me out in a second. Okay, does that look... I mean, maybe... Could go down a little bit. Oh, crap, didn't mean to do that. Uh, F, then shift, no. F, then control, no. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh... Okay, we want to be on axis X. That's correct, I think. I think that looks okay. We want this to be lined up. So yeah, we're not going to worry about the lower floor here in terms of... Let's just go with this and see how it looks at the end. Please, game, can I... Can I please snap this? Really doesn't want to snap it, does it? What if I go over here and try to snap from the other side? What if we do it like this? Like this? Come on. Why are you being a pain in the ass, game? You know what? I think that's going to be good enough. Good, good enough. Fine. It, you know what? It's not perfect. Nobody's going to notice it from a distance. It's fine. Please, game, do not, do not do that to me again. Why do you hate me so much, game? Why do you not want this snapping to work like this? Does it work up here? Doesn't want to snap there. Maybe because we're going outside the bounds of what's allowed. Maybe concrete's just not going to work here, guys. Hate to say it, but maybe concrete's just not going to work. Because it's, it's too thick and we're rubbing up against the edge of the wall there. So I guess we're going to use, like, salvaged uh, walls here. That's fine anyway, because, like, it's going to... It's going to look... Probably more like... Gonna look a little bit more realistic, I guess you'd call it. That looks just about right. Maybe a little bit more turned. Trying to move my mouse without moving it too much. Please, mouse. Just went back there like that. No, we want we want both of the, we want the edges poking out of here a, a tiny bit on both sides, so I can tell that it's that it's square with this wall, like that. We'll see if that works. We might have to change it later on. If we're gonna do this, yeah, we're gonna do it like that. I don't need one there, but um. The weird part here is going to be a doorway. Since we're doing a wall and a half high. You know, am I really that committed to having this go up to there? I'm really not. You know what? I'm really not. I really don't care that much. The, the thing is, you can't even use this upper area anyway. Maybe I'll just store these. Do I want to store them? Yeah, I'll store them for now. Just notice there's like a random abstract art piece here. Um, I'm not in love with that, I guess. I don't, I'm not married to that, you know? It's not that big of a deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a half high wall here, since that's what I kind of was going for anyway. Pretty sure it's what this is. It's like, yeah, this is like a, this is like a wall and a half, it's like a, a wall and a half pretty much perfectly here. So we're going to attach this to here. So I'm happy with the alignment and everything. I'm just not happy with... Yeah, we'll just do it like that. There we go. Because I want a doorway here. Right, I want a doorway over here, or maybe over here, not really sure. Probably over here. It'd be more secure to come in from over here, or maybe even over here. Maybe both. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and do... We'll do a doorway here, that's fine. That'll work. 
See, so yeah, we're going to encircle this whole thing. I might have to do some magic to make this place bigger than it normally is. So we want to go... Hmm, we could, we could... Oh, see, you know... The cool thing would have been... Okay, so guys, if we did concrete... Now I really kind of want to do concrete because... Well, it depends. Does this curve... No, it's too sharp, isn't it? It's too sharp of a curve. I thought if this curved wall lined up with the curve of this, then that'd be really cool. But now we just don't have anything that lines up with that, so it's fine. We're just gonna... We're just gonna do... Go to the very edge over here, and then we'll just put some flooring down over here. It's fine. Okay. Back to it. That makes my decision easier, then. I don't have to worry about it so much. Uh, this is gonna be a bit too far, isn't it? It it will... It'll be fine. I think. Yeah, actually... It's... It's actually... I think perfect. Yeah, I got that alignment pretty much perfectly squared, which is what makes the rest of this really easy then. So we want to do uh, one more here. No, just just this one was fine. Take that and turn it. Yep, there we go. And ideally, this should line up. It does. With this wall. Excellent. Will it attach there? Probably not, but that's okay. We can go around it. We'll just go around. Is there a gap there? There is a tiny gap, but it's probably fine. I think I'll leave that one spot empty there. Yeah. I, I like this. No, not that one. That's, that's not a proper doorway. There's a doorway. No. There we go. And we go up one more. And we gotta do all the way over here. So we gotta complete. So it's completely, you know, going around it. Alright. Do I wanna do windows? I suppose I, w I do wanna do windows. Do I have that much glass? Hopefully we do. Would I wanna do these? The upper level? I suppose I could. Doesn't matter that much. I'm gonna store these back in. So I'll probably reuse them somewhere. Just have windows for the whole upper level here. We got plenty of uh, glass. Well, actually, we don't have plenty of glass. <laughs> Take it back. We only have 500 glass, but it'll be enough to do a double row. Whoops, of windows here. And then that's probably all the windows we're going to do for this place because I don't want to run out of glass. I mean, it's only two per wall. It's not that big of a deal. But, I mean, glass might be used for something else, too. And then here we're just going to go with the uh, regular walls because it's kind of clipping into the... to this thing. Could do a half wall, I guess, actually. Whatever, this is fine. And, yep, there we go. Cool. And then I'm probably not going to do windows on this side, just because it's a bit much. I think it makes sense to have a manufacturing base here, maybe... Uh, we're manufacturing stuff for the Brotherhood as well. Maybe we'll role-play we'll play it that role play it that way. And, um... As far as I know, I can build this pretty high. Okay, so since I am doing manufacturing stuff, let me, um... Well, first off, so this doesn't bother me or anybody else, let's put in some... ground over here. Could I use concrete for the ground, actually? Since it would match better? Actually, would it match? Well, yeah, it'd match better. Yeah, it would. Um, this works okay for right here. For this small little area. We're not going to do it everywhere, probably. Wait, did that do an act? Let me see. No, not that. Dang it. I just... I don't even know where that went. Oh, it's right there. That's what we want. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, we're just... We're just turning our 
odd oval shape into a square, that's all. That actually works just fine. Um, there's a tiny... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. You know, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? The rest of it's all squared up, so we should be good. Okay, I like this a lot. It, it looks good. We've done a good job. We've lined everything up. It's very satisfying. Um... So yeah, I'm cool with that. Now, we're going to be doing... We're, we don't have any settlers here. I guess I should start putting my recruitment stuff down, too. I'm, well, I, I did put a recruitment beacon down out here. So I have, um... Have recruitment beacon. I have one saltwater thing going. I, part of the reason I'm doing this is because I need more parts manufacturing to keep up with my basic... Basic, um, circuitry needs. Oh, right. So, to to make to make more of these, to make more basic circuitry, I need more tech factor. I need more. Yeah, that's a bitch, ain't it? Gotta have circuitry to make circuitry. Well, that sucks. Okay. Um. There are faster ways to cripple yourself than trying to lug all that. Well, did that give me any circuitry? It did actually give me some circuitry. Oh, holy crap. Is that my circuitry income from one day worth? Sincerely. It might have been a couple days, but holy sh Nikes, that's a lot of circuitry we just got from one day. Okay, well, in that case, uh, I want to go ahead and put down my seawater extractors. Let's get those all fleshed out. Let's get some basic uh, water here as well. I want to have the necessities, of course, for our settlers here. Two of those is plenty, and we can do some crops outside of here as well. Some decently flat land here. And, of course, uh, we're going to... We want this to be maximum productivity, so we're going to be doing automated crops here. And I don't really care which crops they are all that much. Um, though... We have one for tar berry. I guess we'll do some tar berry then, because we always want more tar berries. Yeah, we can do one of those. And then, otherwise, I suppose we can do some razor green. It's probably fine. These are not really lined up, are they? Whatever, it's fine. Um, there, sure. Just just do a bunch of those. That, that should be good. Well, I guess it was lined up before. Now it's not, but it's fine. It's okay. So there's the basics. We got... Well, we need defenses, too. I don't... We might... Actually, we might get attacked by C. So when I was over here earlier, um, a couple of super mutants spawned across the way there. And... Um, about 50 Brotherhood people came out here and started fighting them. It was actually pretty glorious. I wish I would have been recording it. But, um... Maybe we'll, we will get attacked from this side. Maybe I should have some turrets over here. In which case, I should probably have some of these stuff... Some of this stuff kind of moved more out of the way. Can I move these, like, all the way over to the side here? Probably do it like that. That way people aren't shooting at our important structures here. Can I do it over here? They all lined up, the Brotherhood, they all lined up and were fighting like right over here. So as long as we have a clear path to over here, we ought to be okay. Maybe I'll put in another door over here too. So they can get out and fight easier if we need to. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay, so need to go into warehouse. There we go. Put a little 
step there as well for their little feet that can't seem to make it otherwise. Hmm. Gonna have to drop it into the ground a little bit. Take surface snap off. Um, oh, we're being... There we go. There we go. Your little feet can get across it now. Well, let's move it over a little bit so it's lined up. There we go. Okay. And turrets. I mean, I guess I could just do a mini little outside turret thing, middle little outside, like one of these maybe? That could actually work. Would look kind of cool. Or maybe one of these. I do it like this? Would it let me snap it? No, it's not going to. What if I move this? I bet you I can if I turn this. It's not going to let me do it. You can do it with barns. Maybe you just can't do it with doorways. Okay. If... I'm not married to that piece anyway, but I mean, yeah, I should be able to do this. What if I just use... Hold on. We're going to figure this out. What if I use this on this side and I then snap this to the outside or any other piece doesn't look like it what about okay what if I what if I do this this I mean this should work yeah surely let's gonna say surely this should this should work this is probably the simplest thing I could do I just this just doesn't snap onto that at all period but we could do this That'd look kind of cool. I think I'm down with that. Okay. The pain in the ass there is that we then have to build this for every section. I mean, we have to do this for every place we want to do it. It's fine. We're not, we're not doing this that much. I mean, I, what I could do... Here's what we'll do. We're just going to run some of these along here. Then wherever I want one. I will make one. We're going to waste some steel doing this, but it's okay. Because I'll scrap these eventually anyway. It'll look nice, though. Come on. You almost did it. Oh, we're we not gonna be able to snap through here. Well, what if I do a biggin? What if I do a biggin? Do a big floor here. Yes, like that. There was even a vertebrate over here earlier. It was kind of hilarious. Yeah, so we'll just do this. Then we just store or scrap. The parts we don't need. No, that's the wrong way. I'm going for like maybe four turrets. Oh, nope, not that. Going for like maybe four turrets overall would be good. Mm. Roughly equidistant, you know. You don't have to be perfect though. Oh uh, yeah, let's do one here. 
It's not going to be perfectly lined up. It's whatever. I'm okay with that. That's still the wrong way. Thank you. We're making turret platforms in case you had not caught on that yet. I guess I didn't explain myself very well. <clears throat> I was kind of lost in thought. Okay, then we just do some horizon turrets here. These will look just fine. Surface snap on. Nice and elevated, so they should be able to shoot people from up on top there. I guess we did five, but five is fine. That's We have plenty of stuff to make these. Well, we don't have basic circuitry, but... Whatever, I want this place well, well protected. This is my manufacturing center, so it's important. Okay, so yes, if we are attacked from across the river or by sea, they're not going to have a very good time. Excellent. So now, the main thing that we're wanting to do here is make this into a manufacturing center, which means we need to go into industrial park and we need to uh, grab some... Advanced construction, right. Tech factory. Um, we want tech factories. Maybe some chem factories. Mostly tech, though. I'm pretty sure tech is what is used. Let me double check this real quick. Uh, let's see. We're looking for... Oh, why is my seawater at zero? Hell no. Add 999 to all. I think some of this stuff is kind of buggy sometimes, guys. I think sometimes some of this stuff doesn't quite... Um, either it's not registering correctly on the display here, or it's just not remembering the correct amount. But okay, so let's see here. We need... We have 74 extractors, but we have only 66 arc furnaces, so we want to add um, at least like 10 more arc furnace production, which means at least three of those, probably four, maybe as many as five arc furnaces. We need about 20 more refineries, so about 10. So, I mean, that's it right there. We, we got five, if we do five uh, refineries, no, sorry, five arc furnaces and 10 refineries, we're pretty much done. That's going to be it. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing then. If we can do that many with the with the amount we have. So I want to do some tech factories too, though. I guess I'll make these somewhere else. Um, okay, so we'll go with... This is under here, right? Oh, I need common tools. Oh, God, I need common tools so badly now. Ooh, we can do the large oil well here too. I mean, yeah, I'm going to do that real quick eaten by circuitry though oh boy this is going to really cut into my seawater footprint over here a lot i can't <coughs> i can't like shove it out there any further um it's gonna be right in the way of everything unfortunately whatever it's it is what it is the extractor is not that big of a deal i should have my the small extractors here though for sure and small oil wells. This didn't have terrible um, oil rating. It wasn't bad. So I should certainly put these in. The extractors are less of a big deal. We didn't have very good extraction rating here. It would eat into my circuitry a lot, though, as well. Okay, well... Okay, so I, I literally can't do any more <coughs> because I need more common tools. Sorry, I keep coughing. Um, I need to do some tech factories so we can make more parts. These require precision tools as opposed to common tools. Can I craft any common tools? I'm going to... 
I can't even do this because I need common tools. Ugh, it's terrible. Okay. So I'm starved for common tools and basic circuitry right now. What about, um... Can I make a basic command table? Are you in here, command table? Yeah. Okay, I hate making this because I'm going to use some circuitry, but whatever. I want to check my mission stuff here. Let's see here. Mission mailbox. Yeah, mission container. Yes, I should have a bunch of missions to complete it overnight. Okay. Do I have common tools that we got from that? We, we, sh we should have. We should have gotten common tools on some of our salvaging runs. I would assume so. It's part of what that does. Yes. We... We got three of them. Okay, that's... That's not actually very helpful. I guess I can make some common tools? Um, how would I... What would I do to go about that? Uh, I think that'd be under... The tech workbench. I want to make a big crafting bench here. Can I make a big one? I don't think I have enough common tools, do I? No, I need one more one more stinking common tool. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the game is telling us I have to go and do some more exploration and looting because I don't have enough tools. That's what it comes down to. I don't have enough tools right now, so this is going to have to wait. Um, this will be our nice manufacturing center, number two. <coughs> Specifically for refining and smelting and uh, doing some basic circuitry stuff. We do have a decent basic circuitry income, though, already, I think. So, um, that's not too bad. But this might have to go on hold for a bit then, I guess. So, where do we want to go then? What do we want to do? Go get our scribe and they'll die immediately, probably, but we'll still get caps anyway, so it's fine. And then we can go and do a quest somewhere. I want to remove my marker, please. Thank you. Can you go back to DC and talk to the Bobrov brothers, I suppose? What is my quest over at Poseidon? Oh, it's that one. Okay, I want to turn that off because I don't really, I don't really care about the repeatable quests that much. Like, if, if we're in the area, we'll do them, but... We could go check out the uh, sea monster. It's not far away. Um, I mean, relatively speaking, we're going to have to go up into the Pridwin and then travel to the castle. We could also do... We could do the robot DLC... Where did I put Ada at, though? That's that's a question. Where did I put Ada? I'm not sure where she's at. Okay, let's do um, rations. Squirrel stew. We don't have a disease, do we? Nah, we're good. Our int is zero because we are too parched. I shouldn't have used that when I had int zero. I think it doesn't matter, though. I think those are a static amount of experience, no matter what. Uh, that's all of my... Yeah, that's all of my... I have melon juice, too. We we're properly hydrated, though, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, okay. Um, one of my jobs is probably using up a lot of common tools. It's probably going to be... Uh, I don't know. I should look in here and see, is there a way for me to make common tools through the workshop? There probably is. What's under worker production again? Just salvaging. Can I... What's in active services here? Okay, we're doing everything we can there. That's, that's fine. 
Go back. Let's go to... Activated production. Active services. No, we're doing everything we can here. That's fine. This is just all like farming stuff that's not normal farming stuff. It'd be under like parts factory probably. You would... Yeah, come... So... Okay. Oh, well, what's going on here? Why are we not making the common tools? Oh, because I turned everything off over here. That's why. Probably because they they give you... It's, it takes a bit to do that. So let's add... Um, manage service slot one. Requires mixed alloy scrap. It requires regular oil. Hmm. Regular... And we're using all of our regular oil, huh? We should have quite a bit of oil income, though, that's not being refined into... Um, I'm pretty sure, anyway. I think. We should have plenty of income on oil. It shouldn't be a big deal. But yeah, this is going to require some oil. This is fine. We'll do, it. We'll do 200 of those. Just have to hope that we get enough uh, income... I did transfer junk, right? Yeah, we did. Um, this don't have that much oil. This is all going to get transferred back to our main base, by the way. It's so, like, because I have such a large amount of production on things now, when I, like, make a change in there and I just say go nuts with it, it, like, it's pretty severe. Like, it's like, oh, well, now you're just not going to have any of this anymore, you know, whatever you're using up to make a thing. So, yeah, we need common tools, need circuitry, we can produce those. Okay, sorry, I had to stop because my AC was on. But let's hop up into a vertebrate and uh, go over and find out what this submarine is. I want to get this stuff done before I go over to Far Harbor, and I want to go to... Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I want to go to Far Harbor soon. Oh my god, you're running so fast. Uh, is this not the right way? It's not the right way. What does this do? Oh, that's... that's we don't get to do that till we unlock... Uh, what's his name? This was the right way, never mind. Oh, I'm dumb. But yeah, let's go. Let's go over and uh, figure out what this quote-unquote sea monster is. I guess the fastest way to get there is going to be to go. Oh, I forgot to get my scribe. He would have died if I would have come up on top of here anyway. That's kind of a bug, and I think I think we're just going to ignore the scribe missions because they're kind of bugged out. Like the second you go up on the Pridwin, because I'd, I'd always get a scribe probably, then come up here and use this fast travel point, and then anytime I do that, it's going to just kill them Im immediately. So like. <laughs> It's kind, of, it's kind of cheating. I can just kind of do that over and over and over again for free experience. Because for whatever reason, they try to, like... I don't know. They just fall off the Pridwin immediately whenever you get up there. I'm going to hop in here real quick and use my... Um, use my... this thing. And then we're gonna go over and check out the sea monster. Yeah, I wanna get this stuff wrapped up before we do Four Harbor, and I wanna get like my production stuff going. I should, you know, what I really should do is have Nick with me. As much as I, you know, Hancock, as much as I, you're an okay guy, like you're, you're, a, you're a fantastic okay dude. But I think we're going to be probably sending you off on I, your way. Yeah? I do have your weapon, though. Your special... Sure, check the stash. ...companion weapon. We got that previously. I don't know if it's over here or somewhere else. Probably... Okay, it's not there. Oh, I, I forget what it's called, though. Someone sent me his item, though.
Huh, I don't know where it is now, actually. But I definitely got it in the mail earlier when I was looking at stuff off screen. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, it's Mutiny. There it is. I see it now. Hey. Got my attention. The second that I stopped looking at it, it was there. There it is. Yeah, it's a shotgun. Combat shoddy. Okay. Attention. There you go. You have fun with that. Uh, hey. We're looking a bit on edge. It's time we part ways. Works for me. I'll head on home. We're just going to send you... I don't really... Just go to an Oberlin station. I'm going to get Nick because... I want to skill him up because he'll be who I take with me for Far Harbor. So I want his companion levels as high as possible for that. So... The question is... uh where is Nick? Yeah, where the hell is Nick at? I guess I can build... We can find it out. We can build a terminal. Yeah, population management tracker. This is a default game item. Nope. Move it over here. Thank you. That'll work. And you can check your VIP tracker. Yeah, so I'd like to show Nick Valentine. Okay, so it gives me a quest for Overseer's Most Wanted. He's over in Diamond City. That's why I kind of figured he's over in Diamond City. Okay, well, is it right? Maybe. It's gotta be Diamond City. Okay, we'll go to Diamond City and get him then, I guess. Let's, uh, let's do that. I want his skills to be higher. And I want to get his weapon, his special weapon from traveling with him. I'm pretty sure he gets, like, a submachine gun or something, which is pretty decent. Should be pretty good. I want to have him with me mostly for just like lore reasons. Let me add, can I add more than 10? I can't. Wish I could just like max it out instantly. I definitely have more supplies than that, but whatever, it's fine. Um, they're probably all my inventory. That's why I can't do it. I need to dump them off, but let's go to, uh, 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 home plate then, yeah. And we'll go and get Nick. And then... I guess we can talk to Ellie too about that quest. About Far Harbor. And get that, like, started kicked off, you know? Oh, by the way, I also set up um, all the stuff I need to have a trading outpost or a trading uh, community over in um, Hangman's Alley. I just need to add a couple more vendors. The problem is... Stuff going down at that old lunatic asylum yeah, 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 I don't care. Stop stop talking to me. You interrupt me, NPCs. Go away. <sighs> um, don't worry. You're safe from the sins here. In I, need, I need to add a mod that just makes them shut the fuck up because it bothers me. I need to talk to the Bobrov brothers, too. We'll do that, too. Well, we'll get Nick first, then we'll go talk to the Bobrov Throw brothers. The home team. Buy a swatter. Anyway, what was I saying? I'm glad you're here. We can't even know anymore. You and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Yeah, sure. Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. 
Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? N no. No, I, I can't remember clearly. Don't want to taint the investigation before it's even started. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Nick. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. Hopefully he actually gets up and comes with me. I think I already read that before. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. Okay, so then Bobrov brothers. Do crazy things when they're scared. Ought to be Diamond City's motto. That is not the right way. Why do I have a? Oh, it's because I have the overseer's quest thing. On. Uh, Bobrov brothers are on the other side of town, I think. Yeah, dugout yes. in's over here. Huh? Let's talk to them and get the uh, Travis quest started as well. D didn't I do this already? And I like it bugged out, and I had to reload my save or something. Whatever, we'll do it again. Oh, here we go. Try it, Yiffy. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Finn. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Oh, if this is a joke. That's you enough. Are one sick him isn't puppy, serious. Buddy. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. What if they're listening to us right now? What if they've been listening this whole time? Hey, hey, quiet, all right? Yikes. You keep that synth freak at arm's length. You understand me? Ooh, some hate for Nick there. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Ever been in one? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. As a last resort, no doubt. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Ah. 
I want to stage fight here in Daga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Okay, 6 p.m. What time is it now? It's 2 p.m. Uh, we could just wait two hours and do it then, I suppose. That'd be fine. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. All right, let's uh, lock this up just in case. Let's hope that we this doesn't happen before we can get in our power armor because that would kind of suck. And we'll just wait for four hours and uh, get this thing going. Unlock. That's the guy, I think, that we're supposed to fight. And we're going to make sure we have no weapons on. We wouldn't want to be hurting the guy too much. Drinks! Well, the finest liquor moonshiners can brew right here. Time. How you holding up? Nick. Not looking to buy right now. You sure? Yeah. Oh, well. Going all right. I'm just... I'm only here for a point. drink. Maybe I don't like your little radio day. program. Yeah, real good what you have to say about well, that. You tell him. I just wanted to check in. The, but, you ever need anything, the, what's this about? I don't sure. like you, you and I don't like Thanks, your radio. What you gonna do about it? You tell him. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. I'm here to give you a hand. I, I, I mean, I'm not really looking to cause... You know, trouble. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I... I that might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... You got spunk, kid. That's all that matters. Um, okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Valentine's you say something. I said, I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. This is such a bad idea. Can I... Can I not block? Really? It's not... Oh. <laughs> he already beat his ass. I can't block, though. I, I'm i certain you can block attacks. I'm trying to right-click. Okay, well... A oh, good job, Travis. I didn't do anything. <laughs> you just kicked his ass, Travis. Travis. Why am I doing this? Excuse me. Oh, God, my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just... Bullshit. This is... Bullshit, man. Beat this it, is pal. not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? Are we good? Hey, I mean, I mean, 
Hi. Again. Uh. Hi. Hi. Get hey, lost. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. There we go. We did it. I knew you had it in you. I can't. I can't believe it. You were right. Oh. I've. I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? There's more? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? I ain't your friend, Scava. Busy here. Those two are kind of assholes, not gonna lie. Hating on Nick. Um, no, I want to hold down, thank you. Uh, where is Scarlet? Is she, like, in the back somewhere? It might be too late in the day, actually, for her to be here still. Oh, is she... No? She's probably outside now. Yeah, she's outside of the bar. Okay. I don't I don't recall if this requires a charisma check or not. Hopefully not because I don't have any charisma. Keep walking. Nothing to see here. The heck is she? Oh, there she is, just standing around, just loitering by the uh, the wall. Okay. Miss. I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he? Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was. Well, he was brave. Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that could happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. Oh, come on. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. Oh my god, it actually I'll passed. I'll see him now. Thanks. Must be one of those rare one charisma required ones, or we just got very lucky. I'm going to save just in case. up to no good and look what's happened now you've got to help i can't do it you've got to help me take it easy it'll be all right just tell me what happened they took him they took vadim Th those men th the ones that messed with travis they came back said vadim owed the money that they had a deal he, he wouldn't pay and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay and then they just dragged him out you have to do something please tell me you can do something I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. 
He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. This quest is proceeding quickly. I guess we're doing this quest today because, uh, yeah, I thought there was more, like, time required between various parts of this quest. Uh, yeah, Travis is over here in his radio station. Don't want to go this way. Let's go the normal way, like a normal person, not jump off the rails. Sorry, Scott. I know I just told you to come over here, but I gotta talk to him first. Hey there. What's going on? I need your help. Sometimes I, I can't click on those. It's that weird. Funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh man. Wow. Is this? This is because of what happened. Isn't it? It's... it's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't beat yourself up, kid. You saw how things turned out last time someone tried to. Look, I don't... I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing... or in trouble... or whatever... Then I'm gonna help get him back. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't. I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll. I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Okay, it is getting a bit late though, so probably sleep for the night and go in the morning. I am pretty sure Vadim will wait for then until then. I doubt they're gonna kill him overnight. If they did, that'd be kinda horrible. Nothing to see here. Just stop, okay? We got our own problem. Huh? All right, guys. I want to go through some of my stuff here and scrap things and do that kind of stuff. Probably going to do that off screen here while we have some time remaining in the day here and then sleep afterwards. And then uh, we'll head out in the morning, I think, and go rescue Vadim. And then I guess after that, we'll go and do the uh, sea monster thing, which is the uh, submarine. But that's going to be next episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.